Hello, here we are going to start the next session of your practical and today we are going to discuss about thermistor, the characteristics of thermistor. What is thermistor exactly? It is a thermal resistor having a large temperature coefficient of resistance. It is the thermally sensitive resistance. Semiconductor device, a small change in its temperature causes a large change in its resistance. That's why it is called thermal resistor or thermistor. They are in form of different shapes like bits, discs or rods. Leads are provided to make electrical connection. Thermistors are used for temperature measurement and in electronic circuits and devices such as fire alarms, fridge, electric iron, etc. It means we are going to find out these all characteristics of thermistor in this experiment. For this, we require thermometer, bit type thermistor, battery illuminator, multiammeter and connecting wires. The formula which we are going to use for this is RT1 is equal to RT2 beta into 1 upon T1 minus 1 upon T2. Let's have a look on its diagram but we are not going to use these all instruments. We are having a ready-made kit for this for your convenience. But here we are using thermometer. We are having multimeter, ohmmeter. We have one beaker. We want burner to heat that water. Then we want thermistor. Here we are using bead shape thermistor. What we are going to do exactly during the process of this experiment. We are going to connect all diagrammatic instruments from the electrical connection in the form of electrical connection then we require the least count of thermometer then we have to note down the temperature and corresponding resistance of the thermistor with the help of digital multimeter at the room temperature compulsory and after the gap of each 10 degrees celsius we are going to take five or six different readings you can see it in observation table here we want the discount of thermometer and after each 10 degrees Celsius, we are going to note down the resistance value. Now, we have to plot the graph of temperature versus resistance and after that, we have to do calculations of beta that RT1 is equal to RT2 beta into 1 upon T1 minus 1 upon T2. Yes, here the circuit diagram, the kit of this diagram we have like a ready-made kit. As the result, we require the temperature coefficient of resistance at so and so degree Celsius that is dash 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 ohm and the precautions we have to take is thermistor should be immersed completely in water and bulb of the thermometer should not touch the sides of the container. Thank you so much. After this, let's have a quick demo of the same experiment. Hello, let's have a demo of the characteristics of thermistor. Here we have the ready-made kit for your convenience students. And now we are going to connect this. But basically, uh, we already discussed what is thermistor, what are their characteristics and all. So here we are going to start with the practical session. We, are go we have to select the input as a 2 volt. And now we are going to connect this whole circuit. First of all, we have to connect the inbuilt milliammeter to the inbuilt thermistor in series so first connection is positive of voltmeter we have to connect to the positive of milliammeter the second connection is negative of milliammeter is connected to the one end of thermistor and now the last one the another end of thermistor is connected to the negative of voltmeter now the next part is we have to insert thermometer in the oven now your whole circuit is done we have to on that kit as well as we have to switch on that oven what we have to do exactly according to the change in temperature we are going to note down current and v is equal to ir on the basis of this formula we are going to find out resistance of thermistor let's start Now you can see there is increase in current takes place. As per there is increase in temperature, current also increases. We have to take 5 different readings for 5 different temperatures at the gap of 10 degrees Celsius. For the 30 degree we can see here 0 0.06 ampere 
or 0.67 ampere and in this way we have to take five different readings for 40 degree celsius 50 degree celsius 60 70 and 80 it's a very easy task for you guys because of you just have to insert thermometer in the oven you can check temperature and the current in front of you on the digital session directly thank you